beautiful planet in the solar yeah. system. This giant blue and green marble that stands out like a sore thumb when you're going through the cosmos because there's so much bliss and joy and beauty that's happening here on the planet. And like I said before, if you've incarnated here on this, on this one, this big marble that we're all on here, you're a creator and you're here to create and to be an artist and to live in a state of joy and peace and harmony with those around you. And if you get too distracted in the, all of the crap that humans have created to distract ourselves from what is real and what is true, you're going to miss the most beautiful opportunity. Trust me, souls are lining up to get into this place. I can't tell you how many light workers I talk with and they're like, this is my last incarnation on this planet. Yeah. I'm done on here. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is too hard. No, trust me. Those people are going to be coming back again because their karma yeah. is not, is not square and neutral with this place. Yeah. You don't, you don't just get to get off because you said, get me off of here. You got to mm -hmm. do the work. And the work means moving back into that state of harmony and bliss and being present in every single moment. Yeah. And that's one phrase that you use that I, I absolutely love is how do you want to show up? Mm -hmm. If you ask yourself that once a day, 10 times a day, how do I want to show up with my kids? How do I want to show up with my husband? How do I want to show up with my family? Even if it's just on the phone, how do I want to show up for myself? Your world will shift. It will have no choice because you're consciously making the decision versus having those decisions made for you. You're able to live and choose how you live versus just surviving and keeping up. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. One of the most beautiful things about the records, which begins to reveal future possibilities to us and then gives us the understanding and the support that we need on mm -hmm. how do I need to show up so that I can be that person that had to make that happen. They're just simply questions that we don't tend to ask ourselves yeah. often or under the right circumstances, you know, which means you've got a relaxed body, a relaxed mind, and you've gone into the records and you've opened up the inquiry of what is possible for me mm -hmm. and which version of me needs to show up so that I can experience that. We can actually go into the records if you want. Do we have time? Yeah, we got 10 minutes. You, you can okay. do that. All right, let's do that. Let's, let's let it rip. Let's go in really quickly. And I'll let you guys experience what it's like to go in and have that shift of consciousness. Now, one thing I'll tell you is that once this knowledge is revealed to you, you have a responsibility to it, okay? It's, it's not just an area where you get to go around and play and be like, what if I were to show up this way? Uh-uh. If you know what you're here to do and you know what it's going to take for you to show up and do it and you don't, guess what? You create more karma that you're going to have to go out and resolve later. So only do this if you are really ready to be responsible for the wisdom and information that comes in for you. Okay? So I'm going to invite you guys just to take a few nice deep breaths. Take a first breath in and just create some space in the body. And as you exhale with this breath, breath, feel a relaxation that starts at the top of the head, slowly exhaling so that you can relax the whole body down into the face, the jaw, the shoulders. You gotta have a really relaxed body to do this work dynamically. Relax into the belly, the hips, down all the way down the legs, relaxing into the feet, from the heels to the toes, fully relax your body. Take another nice deep breath to help maintain that relaxation. And we wanna do some grounding. So I want you to imagine that there's a crystalline tube of light that runs up and down the spine. And begin to visual it with your inner eyes. And I want you to send that crystalline tube of light with your imagination, your intention, wash it as it's going down through the body. We're gonna send it all the way down into the crystal core center of Mother Earth. So it travels down into the earth through all her different layers, through the crust, the roots, the crystalline caves, 
underground waters of Mother Earth and anchoring deep into the crystalline core center. Just let yourself hang out there for a second with Mother Earth. She is the ultimate source and resource. She is so self-realized in who she is. She's incarnated as this physical planet. And we are in this divine soul contract, this ancestry with this great being. So rising that tube back up out of the belly of Mother Earth, following it up with your consciousness, moving it up through the layers. Feel it as it moves back into the body, returning that energy from Mother Earth, all that self-realized energy from Mother Earth now moving through your entire body, every cell of your body lighting up. Good. Now we're going to send that crystalline tube of light up into the space of the ether, the Akash. So imagine that crystalline tube of light now is going to move out the top of your head, all the way up through the layers of space and time, all the way up to the edge of the universe, crossing over the edge of the universe, moving through the multiverse, and anchoring into the ether. Akash is a Sanskrit word that means ether, ether is primordial energy. Anchoring that crystalline tube of light in that space. And then following the consciousness back down into the body. The consciousness has just been in that etheric space. It's bringing all of that etheric energy back down with it into the physical body. Good job. Now I invoke sacred sound to go into the space of the Akashic Records. And I'm gonna shorten the process here for us today. So I want you just to repeat after me. We're just gonna go straight into opening up the records. And your full name, your first, middle, and last name carries the vibrational frequency of your soul forward and backward through time. So I just want you to say with this ohm, and we're gonna do a big loud bellowing sacred ohm together to rearrange the molecules of space-time so that we can create this powerful connection to the records where the information is going to flow for us. But with this ohm, I open the Akashic records of Emily Suzanne Harrison. Now, you open your own records, not mine. I'm opening my own. And then we're just going to do an ohm together. Uh... When we do that ohm and invoke that sacred sound, it's the primordial sound of the universe. And sound is the ultimate creation tool. What we're doing is we are aligning all the molecules within our body and creating a sacred bridge into the space of the records where the information is gonna flow back into you. And just clearing out the mind, I want you to ask, what is possible for me? Begin to invite the bigger possibility, the magic of your life to reveal itself to you. What is possible for me in this life? And it might be some grand vision. I know Chris and I are both visionaries. We, we lead the mission. We lead the parade. Just because... <clears throat> You might be getting in some information that says, oh, bliss is possible for me or peace is possible for me. That's just as important as being the leader of a mission. So just go with whatever's coming up for you. Don't feel like it's too simple. If you're not getting that Joan of Arc energy coming in, Chris and I talk about the Joan of Arc archetype. Going with whatever's coming in for you. And now simply asking, how do I need to show up in my life so that I can experience that which is possible for me? If you're getting answers of bliss is possible for you, then you might need to show up with the willingness to forgive. Many times people who want to experience bliss are type A's. They want, they want the bliss to go like this and to look like this. And everybody else has to show up and make it look like this. 
you might need to let go of some of that expectation and forgive areas where you haven't fully shown up, forgive others where they haven't fully shown up. So how do I need to show up? in order to experience what is possible. And taking that wisdom, illuminating it into every cell inside of your body, your cell getting a, cells getting a, an activation, an adjustment of remembrance being installed into them. So you can remember when you get off course and you're not showing up how you need to show up to experience what is possible for you. You get that little nudge and that desire to course correct. And then we're gonna close the records just how we open them. We're gonna give thanks for the knowledge that has come forward in this space and how that's healed us even as short of a time as we've been in as simple as the information's dropping in, that's healing, that's medicine. So grateful for that medicine. And with one final ohm, closing the records. Uh, the records are now closed. Mm. I want to invite everybody. Can they comment on this? Yes. Thing? Yes, absolutely. So I would, I would love to invite you guys to, to share. Share in the comments, first of all, what was possible for you, and then how you were being asked to show up. And I will personally go back in and hold space for every single one of you and what's possible in your life and send you strength and support so that you can show up in the way that uh, you need to show up to experience what, what was revealed to you today. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.